Here's an idea. What if we take a whole week's worth of weeb news and just package it into a single video? We'll call it Weeb Sauce. <laughs> it is back and welcome back to another episode of Weeb Sauce. Look, this week's news is a little bit on the heavier side. So we're going to start with some of the more serious stuff and then we're going to move on to some of the lighter news. Former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, who resigned from office in 2020, has been confirmed dead after he was shot on July 8th while he was giving a campaign speech for a fellow party mate outside of Yamato Saidaiji Station in Nara City. Look, I won't get into the details of the assassination because there are plenty of traditional news outlet that's already doing this. What I would like to get into is just how the heck did Hideo Kojima get tied into all this because man, it is crazy. Obviously, Hideo Kojima, the legendary Metal Gear and Death Stranding creator, had absolutely nothing to do with the assassination of the former Japanese Prime Minister, but here is how he got caught up in all this. Shortly after the attack, some internet trolls on Fortune decided that hey, it'd be pretty funny to post a picture linking Kojima's face to that of the shooter. This prompted another user to post three additional pictures of Kojima, each with some sort of communist imagery. After that, a French comedian thought, hey, it would be pretty funny to post those pictures on Twitter as a satirical pose. And then things really took off from there. When a far right nationalist French politician retweeted the comedian's tweet with added text, the far left kills, things weren't a joke anymore. And because this is a tweet from a prominent politician, those images got picked up by Greek and Iranian news outlets and were mistakenly used as pictures of the assassin in their coverage. Kojima, understandably, did not take any of these unwanted attention too kindly. In response, Kojima Production released a statement on Twitter that read, Hashtag Kojima Productions strongly condemns the spread of fake news and rumors that convey false information. We do not tolerate such libel and will consider taking legal action in some cases. Somebody should have told them watch Weave Sauce, man. I would have told them it's not Kojima. Ken Akamatsu, the mangaka behind the Love Hina and Negima series, is now the first mangaka to become a politician. He won a seat in the House of Counselors election and is now a member of the Liberal Democratic Party, also known as LDP. Akamatsu ran on a platform promoting freedom of expression, artistic freedom, protecting creators' rights from censorship, regulations, and pressure from foreign countries. He first dived into politics in 2011 when he became concerned over the Trans-Pacific Partnership Agreement and its implication to Dojin Works. In 2013, Akamatsu joined other creators in opposing the proposed amendment to child pornography laws in Japan because the initial drafts did not differentiate between pornography featuring real children and images of children. I'm sorry, what? What are you opposing? Look, I'm not going to pretend to know the first thing about Japanese politics, but yikes! Oh my god, that's what he means by artistic freedom. Hey, Hunter Hunter fans rejoice! The series creator Yoshihiro Togashi just got on Twitter to announce that he's only one chapter away from completing the latest release. Now I know what you guys are thinking right now. Yo, he just get off his lazy and just finish the series already. First of all, that is not nice. But also, this has nothing to do with him being lazy, but everything to do with the crippling pain that the mangaka has been experiencing. In a message that was included in the announcement of his upcoming art exhibition, Togashi gave us some insight into his medical condition. For the last two years, I've been unable to sit in a chair. I had to give up on working in the normal way, but I have now somehow figured out how to be able to resume drawing. Up until two weeks before writing this message, I couldn't keep the posture necessary to wipe my own butt. And every time I took a poop, I had to wash it off in the shower. It takes me about three to five times longer than an average person to move around and do things. Your lower back is very important. So yeah, we should just all relax and wait for the newest chapter to come. And yeah, also no more calling him lazy. Did you know that this is the middle of the video? Did you know that there is a like button and a subscribe button? Hit those. VTuber legend Kason recently announced that she will be joining VSojo during Anime Expo 2022. And now we have more insight from her as to why she made such a move. In a recent stream on YouTube, Kason addressed many of the questions that we've all been wondering about. For example, is Kason now owned by a company? The answer is no, she's still an individual VTuber. Will VSojo now own what Kason creates? The answer is no, she will own her own creations. Will she have any restrictions as to what she can do or say? The answer is still no. There are no restrictions. So what are the pros and cons in joining VSojo? Well, according to Kason, there aren't really any cons, but she will be getting VSojo's technical, security, and legal support. Additionally, Kason really stressed that she believes in VSojo's idea that the talents get to keep their own IP, which would be very different from Sojo's previous experience. 
at a different company. Look, I highly recommend heading over to Socho's channel just to see her explanation in full. It's about like an hour and 30 minutes video. We're just not going to cover all the points in there. While most fans are very supportive of her move, Chinese nationalist Antis are already not taking Kaesong's move very kindly, with many vowing to give her hell again over the incident that happened two years ago. Yeah, jeez, these nationalists must be fun at parties, huh? One such nationalist, SYL Bravo on Billy Billy, who used to do V Sojo clips in China, announced that they will no longer be doing clips for the group and will delete all the clips related to their talent. Nia, who is Nanner's original artist, also stated that as a Chinese citizen, she cannot approve of Kaysan's joining, regardless if she is in the Japanese branch or not. You know what I really like to say to these Chinese nationals, aunties? Yeah, don't let the f***ing door hit your way out. See your ass out of here. Alright, let's end the show with some great news. Studio Ghibli's Kiki's Delivery Service will screen on selected theaters in North America on July 31st, August 1st, and August 3rd as part of the Ghibli Fest 2022 event. If you're interested, tickets are now on sale over at Phantom Events' website. Hashtag not sponsored. The Ghibli Fest 2022 so far has screened Princess Mononoke, Ponyo, and The Cat Returns. Only yesterday is next, it was screened on August 28th and the 29th. House Moving Castle was screened on September 25th, 26th, and 28th. Spirited Away will screen on October 30th, November 1st, and November 2nd. All screenings will include dubs and subs. So you like English, you like the original Japanese, it's got everything for everyone. I guess that's it then. Please come back next week for more Weep Sauce.